sorry about the shaky movement on the camera this one's just for you okay um, when you're doing the settings as you say about uh, menu 24 I'll leave me at mine on uh, ALC but you can do both it depends um, uh, sorry ALC or power so I use mine on ALC because uh, that's why I really want to find out what the ALC is going to be so I just don't overdrive the radio so from 24 uh, go back so you've got it on ALC when you actually key up uh, without uh, the amplifier on the BLA 350 so you're going to key up on on the FM CW whatever so you've got a constant tone uh, I key up on the FM and I make sure I've only got 8 watts so as long as 8 watts come from the, the radio uh, into the back of the amplifier when you're actually checking that and setting it up you know how to set it up on the menu um, when you've actually got it set there and then you key the radio up so you key the radio up with 8 watts on and from the back you've got the pot to do the ALC set that at 8 watts as well um, sometimes it might show you've got 6 watts it's just a, a, a mismatch between the radio and the amplifier so don't worry about it as long as you've got say 8 watts coming from the uh, radio goes into the amp if you can if you can set it up as the same i.e. 8 watts it's just to limit the amount of power going into uh, the amplifier from the radio it's what it's supposed to do but what it's supposed to do and what it does do are two different things so as long as you've got that set that's okay so every time I before I actually tune up and everything or play on the radio straight on here 8 watts make sure that's okay straight to the amp make sure that's okay and the ALC part on there says either 6 or 8 no more than that and then I'll just put it on so I can actually operate uh, with your uh, ATU I think you say you've only got a 300 watt one um, you probably need something a little bit more than that especially if you're going to be running in with the uh, uh, 847 because as I say with the 847 on a tune up um, I've had anything up to about four or five hundred watts so just in case it depends um, I use some different audio gear so if you're just going to go in through uh, the normal mic leave it on processor uh, so keep it on the processor one all the time uh, key up set your power at 8 watts go to the amp set that up as 8 watts that's fine then what you need to do make sure you've got a good good SWR meter that goes up to um, say a thousand watts or something like that depends what you've got as I say I've got a couple of different ones all of mine go up to about uh, 2 kilowatt or more um, and when I actually do it I make sure I, I've got it on average power but then when I'm talking on the SSB I've got it on peak power so that's what you've got to make sure whether you've got uh, average power or peak power or your PEP anyway your peak power so with your PEP when you're talking on the radio um, or going through the amp sorry as well at the same time you'll probably be up to about 350 400 uh, watts without any problem just making sure you've got PEP as you say in your email um, make some things more aware i.e. menu 24 make sure it's on ALC um, there is something that goes on between the amp and the, the radio anyway because when you're actually first uh, you've got everything set up on the amp and the radio um, you go in to actually go on FM so I'm going to do it my way go on to FM, you key up right, your ALC will go up to about I don't know, 20 or something like that anyway, even if you're on S uh, sorry, on SSB let's, let's say for that part on SSB uh, when I key my mic up and don't put any uh, audio through it'll probably still be on 20 so when I'm talking I've got my uh, processor on I'm using a standard mic processor on and then when I talk I make sure as you can see from there it doesn't go above the 50 it's just, it's just below 50 and there's your line just there that's not the bottom line the next one up 
so if you go above that the audio is going to be really rubbish and you're going to be splattering everywhere so you want to make sure it is just before as you can see there's the sec there's the bottom line and there's the second line so no more than that and there's the 50 so it's below there as you can see there there's your line there no more than that so when you're actually uh, talking on, on uh, SSB make sure your ALC is stuck within that line or, or a little bit less even with the processor on and um, your power output should be anything from about 300 uh, to 500, 550 so that's what it'll actually say uh, but depending on your losses and all the rest on your coax you'll probably be putting around about 400 watts out um, as you've sorry I had to turn the other radio down as you've seen on some of my videos I've done some tests and I've had up to 550 watts out so um, what you need to do is just check and make sure so average when you actually uh, do your setup uh, your, your, your 8 watts and all the rest and if you turn your amp on to check how much power is going out um, it'll only say around about 300 watts which you've put in the email which is fine but um, it's even with the meter here sorry I've got no real light on this one your meter, let's turn this on so your meter here right a lot of this is rubbish because when I'm talking um, on my um, radio on my 847 on here it might only go up just a little bit it's not even going to go up to the 25 it might on a peak go up to 25 um, I don't know it's whether it's something to do with the amp or something like that I don't know because uh, before I had it sent away to get it all fixed and that and repaired whatever with uh, uh, RM Italy um, sometimes my uh, reading used to go up to about uh, 100 uh, sometimes 200 and that's when I was getting around about 500 and odd watts output so it said so don't really go on what this meter says uh, or says you need a good sorry I've got lots of stuff up here you need a good uh, meter a good MFJ Alicraft uh, depends what you've actually got but you want something that um, can do PEP and I think that's roughly round about it like I say you need to make sure your amp does say um, the 8 watts or just below the 8 watts you do need to make sure that the radio is only doing 8 watts you want to go up to 10 watts or 12 watts or whatever then if anything happens then it's down to you um, I would suggest not what RM uh, Italy say 14 watts um, I don't do that because if you do that you're going to blow the finals in them so whatever it says in the manual don't do it uh, here 8 watts no more than 8 watts so as long as I can tell people don't use more than 8 watts your amplifier will work 100% no problem at all um, check it with a, a SDR radio you will have no problems at all unless you've done something wrong with your radio to actually go into the amplifier I've seen so many other people with other amplifiers i.e. amplifiers that cost three four five six thousand pound and the splatter they put out is unbelievable um, I've got an expert 1k just there and I don't have any problem with that either because I run it correctly uh, with this one this is why I say with the BLA 350 no more than 8 watts going in and you will get anything from three say 300 uh, watts to 500 watts output it just depends it depends on your radio uh, no idea why this is I've, I've used um, an FT2000 I've used a 7600 which I've got there I've got all those radios there I've used them and uh, the power's been roughly around about uh, 350 then I use my FT847 
and I get anything up to 500 watts or just over 500 watts. Like I say, look at my other videos, you'll see what it shows on there. So, 8 watts, ALC, make sure it's within uh, the ALC. I know, as I said, with this uh, amp, uh, something's between them. And when you just key your mic, don't speak into it, key your mic on SSB, um, it'll already go up to 10, 20, or whatever. I don't know what it'll go up to on your radio, but mine could be 10 or 20. I can't remember now. It's on my videos. And um, I just speak in. Keep the processor on. Doesn't matter if you're speaking. If you're going to be doing any DX, if you're speaking, sorry, if you're speaking local, you don't need the amp anyway. If you're speaking for any DX or or want to get uh, Europe or wherever you're from, I know you're in the States, but wherever you want to get to, then use the amp. And um, as I say, keep the processor on. It's going to be set up. Don't go above uh, the mark there for the ALC. And make sure the amplifiers set to 8 watts. Or if you've got the radio 8 watts going in and it only shows 6 watts, don't worry about it. Uh, that's fine. It'll work fine. You'll have no problems at all. Um, like I say, just don't try and overdrive it, but make sure you've got a radio, uh, sorry, an uh, SWR meter that's got average and PEP, and at least you'll know it'll be working. So, as you keep saying, and I've said as well, ALC, menu 24, make sure it's on 24 and ALC on there. Keep an eye on your reading there, 8 watts going out, 8 watts or 6 watts showing on there. Make sure you've got an average or P and, and PEP meter and you'll be fine enjoy your BLA 350 it's a brilliant amplifier um, I only got my Expert 1K because it was such a good price and I've wanted one for a long time but um, I won't get rid of my uh, BLA 350 it's fantastic but if anybody's going to buy a BLA 350 if you're listening to the end of this uh, uh, video don't go for the blue one go for the black one they've actually sorted out so uh, the black one, from what I was told, I'm not 100% sure, but from what I was told by RM Italy's, the black one, it's got an extra fan on top, and it will take 100 watts input, and it'll sort it out with the ALC on the amp, but make sure, whoever you buy it from, make sure and say, I want to run 100 watts from my uh, radio into the amplifier, and I'll turn the ALC down on the amplifier. Is that going to be okay with the finals? Because you don't want to blow, blow them up. And then you're, the seller who you bought it off say to you, oh, sorry, your warranty doesn't cover it. Because that's what they'll say. So as long as you check out those things first uh, regarding the, the input uh, for the black one, not the blue. That's the black one with the 100 watts input from what I've been told. But me, I just run. 8 watts from the radio into the amplifier. It only needs 8 watts and you'll get over 300 watts out. So it's such a good amplifier and as long as you've got it on automatic like I have there, everything's automatic, everything's set up right, you'll get between 300 and 500, 550 watts output. No problem, run it all day. Okay, that's me finished. I'll send you that link in so you can have a look at this and um, make sure i keep saying it i know it's repetitive but as long as you get it in uh when you key up on uh fm eight watts just make sure you've only got eight watts six or eight watts will show up on here check you've got uh, your swr meter average and pep when you go on your uh, ssb even when you just key up don't talk into it make sure you're on processor that's easier for you because uh, I don't know whether you've got any external gear if you haven't that's fine and ALC will go up to 10 or 20 or whatever you get but do not speak any uh, higher or don't turn your mic gain up to make it go above that 50 make sure it's within the line of the ALC or even a little bit less and you'll have no problem all right sorry it's repetitive but as you said on your email it's just there you need to um stress the menu 24 and the alc all right mate enjoy m0 aov